In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Nano Banana, Google's new Gemini image editor. Trust me guys, this thing is amazing. The types of images you can generate and the types of edits you can do to existing images is absolutely incredible. You can create images like this or this or this. And so if you want to learn how to use Nano Banana correctly, this video is gonna show you exactly how. I'll also be showing you how to use Nano Banana within NAN, allowing you to build automated workflows. I'm gonna include a free NAN template. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, sit tight because this is gonna be a fun video. So first, what is Nano Banana? In plain English, it's basically text-based image editing. It's built directly into the Gemini app. And you can also use it via API as Gemini 2.5 flash image. So if you go to gemini.google.com, you'll get to this page or something similar. If you haven't already, you'll want to create an account. And if you really wanna learn how to use Gemini, I actually have a full tutorial on my channel. But essentially to get access to Nano Banana, all you're gonna to want to do is click on this button right here. Create image with this little banana emoji. If this is not there, you can also click on tools here and then click on create images and that's going to be the same thing. So once you clicked on that, it's going to show up right here and we're basically going to be able to describe any image that we want to generate. Create an image of a dog sitting on a couch. We'll go ahead and click submit and cool. It's generated this really cool image. And one of the really cool things about Nano Banana is it doesn't just generate images. It generates images extremely well, much better than chat GPT in my opinion, but you can actually edit images really easily just with your text. So let's say I wanna change the color of this couch to blue. I'm simply gonna type that right here and it's gonna regenerate that image basically exactly the same except for that one different character, right? So in this case, it's the blue couch. Now, previously this has not been really possible. That's what makes this such a cool AI tool because it can essentially replace Photoshop for a lot of people. Being able to switch out colors, changing the subject, having them do a different pose, changing the lighting. We can do all these changes directly just using text. I can also do something like this, make the dog wear a birthday hat and balloons in the background. So as you can see, now it's added a birthday hat. It's actually added some balloons that look really realistic. If you wanna download an image, all you have to do is come here to the top right, click on download full size, and that's gonna download directly to your computer. Now, one interesting quirk about Nano Banana as of right now is that it only generates square images. Even if you tell it not to generate square images, it's still gonna do it. But depending on when you're watching this video, they'll likely change it. There is a workaround, however, and I'll show you guys with the NAN workflow later on in this video. If at any point you don't like the image that was generated, you can click on this redo button right here. And to share and export, it's also very easy. We can click on this button. You can export directly to docs or you can draft it up in your email. So you've sort of covered generating images from thin air. We can also give Nano Banana images to work with. So if you click on this plus button right here, you're gonna be able to upload files directly from your computer or add directly from your drive. So I'll click on this right here. You can also, of course, just drag and drop directly there. I'm gonna upload a picture of my headshot. I'm gonna tell it, Create an image of me wearing a gray hoodie standing in front of the New York skyline at sunset. You can get really creative with the types of prompts you give it, but basically the more specific you are, the more specific of a scenario or image you can create. All right, so it's generated this image. It's not like a perfect representation of me, but it's not too bad. One thing that Nano Banana does extremely well, at least a lot better than other AIs, is that it can generate consistent images of people extremely well. Usually with like ChatGPT, when you generate images of a person given a reference image, it tends to look extremely weird. With Nano Banana, it's a lot better. Another really cool thing you can do with Nano Banana is actually combine different images. So I'm gonna upload two different files right now. One is a picture of me and one is a picture of a blue suit. So I said, place me in the suit, make it so it looks like I am wearing the suit while standing on a sidewalk in downtown Los Angeles at sunrise. Cool, so it's generated this image. It's pretty cool because it actually includes the watch that I was wearing. My face looks pretty normal, looks quite like me. It also has me wearing the glasses, that's great. And you can definitely tell that this is sunrise. We have very realistic shadows and yes, it does look like downtown LA. Now you can get basically infinitely creative with how you use Nano Banana to edit your images. For example, let's say we want to place a red Ferrari in the background. Place a red Ferrari in the background on the road driving away from the camera. We can get more specific if we want, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cool, so now we have a red Ferrari that looks pretty good. It's driving away from us. So as you can see, you can be pretty much as specific as you want. And the more specific directions you give it, the more accurate it's gonna be. And the best thing you guys is that it doesn't change 
change me at all, right? It's only adding that thing. I really want you guys to understand just how cool this is because before you wouldn't be able to just change or add something to an image without ruining a different part of it, especially when it comes to faces. But now we absolutely can. We can add clouds. We can make it look like it's raining. We could change the time of day. We can add or remove trash cans. We can even say something like this. Change it so the traffic lights are red. Okay, so it's add this traffic light. Not super good because it left this one, but still very, very cool. You can also use Nano Banana to create different logos, design elements for your website, virtually furnish a room, make yourself look older, basically anything. Whatever you've done with ChatGPT, you can now do it better with Nano Banana. Now, like I mentioned, Nano Banana is also usable via API. So we can basically create custom workflows using uh, platforms like NAN and basically create agents and automated workflows that harness the power of Nano Banana. Now, if you're not too familiar with NAN, it's a really cool platform that I use to build out a lot of automations that run within my businesses. These automations save us hundreds of hours per week. They're always running and it allows us to create so much more output than what was possible before. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually build a workflow within NAN using Nano Banana. This is a little bit more complicated, but if you wanna actually build workflows, you have to do something like this. So NAN usually costs about $24 per month for the starter plan and up to $60 per month for the pro plan. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you're actually just paying for their cloud, their VPS hosting when you pay for it. It's actually a completely free platform. And I'm gonna show you guys how to save up to 70, 80% on NAN right now. So if you click on the link down below, it's gonna take you to this exact landing page. This is where we're gonna get hosting or VPS to basically self host our NAN. This is exactly what I do for my businesses and I save a lot of money doing it. And yeah, it is kind of secret. Not that many people know about this. So I wanna put you guys onto some game. So if you click on choose your plan, it's gonna take you to this page. For most of you guys, the KVM one or KVM two is gonna be good enough. But if you want a little bit more speed, a little bit more storage, then you might wanna go with one of these. You just click on the plan that you want, select your time period. So I recommend doing at least 12 months, 24 months if you wanna lock in that low price for longer. Put in code Charlie Chang at checkout. That's gonna save you an additional 10%. Just want you guys to save as much money as possible. Make sure NAN is selected right here, right? This is gonna be the operating system that is installed by default. Click continue, and then you're gonna register your account. From there, you're gonna go into your dashboard, click on manage app, and here's where you're gonna set up your account. You can just click on get started, no need to answer the questions. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to enter in your email to get your license key. Once you enter in the activation key, you're gonna have all these features, and then you're gonna be able to actually start building your workflows that are self-hosted on your new uh, hosting or VPS. I'm not gonna get too in depth in this video since it is more for beginners, and I have the template down below for you guys to just download into your own account. But essentially, I've built out this very basic basic nano banana workflow that you guys can start using right away. We create these different nodes using the editor, which is pretty simple to use. Again, if you want to learn exactly how to do this, just watch my NAN tutorial down below. It goes really in depth on actually how to do this. But for now, just download the file down below and you can basically instantly start using it. All you basically have to do is connect your Gemini API. So that's pretty easy to get from your Gemini account. And to use the Telegram features, you're gonna want to input your chat ID. The doc down below is gonna have all the instructions. So just make sure you follow that. So let me show you guys how this works. We have two different ways to trigger this workflow. One is the form trigger and one is the Telegram trigger. So yes, you can actually do this workflow directly within Telegram, which is pretty cool. But for example, if I actually execute this workflow, it's gonna pull up the page that we have. So you're gonna enter in your prompt here. Okay, create an image of an acai bowl on a picnic table on a beach. If you wanna edit an image, what you're gonna do is choose that file right here. And then actually in your prompt, you're gonna say what you want to actually edit. You know, very, very similar to doing it within Gemini. And then you're gonna click submit here. So it's gonna actually go through this workflow and it's gonna send you a Telegram message. Now, just to show you guys this file, this is what generated, which actually looks really good. And basically the possibilities are endless, right? What you guys can do is create even more uh, nodes right here. You can do further automations. For example, we could send this image into VO3. We can use that to generate videos from this one image. And yeah, you basically have endless things you can do with these workflows. This is just a very basic one, but it does allow you to use Nano Banana within Telegram or directly within this form. I also have a Nano Banana thumbnail maker. I'll make sure to uh, 
uh, have a link to that down below as well. It'll show you exactly how to set this thing up with your credentials. And yeah, it's just a really cool use case for you know, harnessing the power of Nano Banana. Basically, when you combine Nano Banana with NAN, you're able to create really complex workflows that can handle and do a lot of things for your business. Of course, you can always use Nano Banana directly within Gemini, but you should absolutely learn how to use the API within other platforms to create these types of workflows. Now, one really cool use case for Nano Banana is for UGC, right? Since it's so good with people and faces, creating consistent characters, what we can do is we can actually create images using Nano Banana and then input those directly into the VO3 uh, video model and have it create UGC ads, videos, whatever we want with it. So for example, I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly right now. If we click on create videos with video, we'll start a new chat. I'm gonna add that photo that I just generated with Nano Banana. Okay, so it's that image of me uh, in downtown LA with a red Ferrari. And this is what I'm gonna say. Turn this image into a video. I'm walking towards the camera and talking about how clean downtown Los Angeles is. Let's go ahead and submit this. Now this does take a little bit longer. It takes a lot of processing power to create these really good videos. All right, so we have our video. Let's take a look. It's quite remarkable how clean downtown Los Angeles has become. The streets are pristine and the air feels fresh. All right, so not bad. If you pause it in the wrong spots, it does look a little bit funny. But overall, that's a really cool way to utilize Nano Banana by creating these images that look pretty realistic and then turning them into actual videos with sound. As of right now, you can generate three uh, videos per day. But of course, you can upgrade to a more expensive plan and get more video generations per day. So yeah, that's basically how you use Nano Banana. Remember, the technology is always changing, so some of the things may be a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video. But now you know some of the most important features of Nano Banana and how you can actually integrate directly with NAN to create these automated workflows. I'll link all the resources I talked about down below in the description. And please, you guys, if you want to save some money with NAN, definitely self-host on your own VPS. It's going to save you a lot of money in the long run, and it's exactly what I do. Hope you guys got some value from the video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.